Hi there, this is the VR Experience Player demonstration. Um, I just want to take you through an overview of the system um, to hopefully acclimatize you to it nice and quickly. Um, so you can see the, the displays uh, separate into three sections. At the top you have the main buttons that launch the VR application. Uh, in the left hand side you see the setup VR experiences with a code. This means a third party vendor uh, may have a group of images, 360 videos and normal cinema videos that they want to download. So for example, um, it could be a marketing exercise for a new car or you could have uh, visited a theme park, etc. Um, so if you enter the code in there, it will download those um, those media media files to this system. Uh, it will drop them into the VR Experiences folder on the right hand side. Um, and you'll also notice there's a button on the right hand side uh, called Download Sample Media. And while I'm talking, I'm just going to press that so you can see it's actually downloading some files. Um, it's telling me some were already existing. Um, but it's, as it's downloading, it's giving you an update in the bottom left. So this is um, the, I said there you go, it's complete. Um, so I've got here on the right hand, I've got an Explorer. Now this is a 2D viewer. This is not the VR viewing. So this is just so you can see the data that you've got in the system. So if I click on one of these files, click on another one. So I can see my images and just see what I've got here. You can also manually up, um, upload into the system with a, if you've got some file management software. So, for example, I've got here uh, a 360 video. Now, this doesn't look right on this because it's a 2D display, but when this is when you've got your headphones on and watching this in the VR software, this obviously is a fully immersive uh, 360 video. So, stop that. And if I go back onto the video, normal videos. Let's, for example, click on Big Buck Bunny. Uh, these are open source videos, so I'm allowed to download these. Um, and this is the 2D version of that movie. But what we want to do now is Let's pause that. I can hide this panel and redisplay it. Um, let's go open up the um, the VR. So if I click on the top button, now these three buttons, you don't when you're in VR, you don't have to come back to these buttons. You just press it, and there are the same buttons within the virtual reality experience. Now, here's an interesting point. When you first start the app, it centers to your position, which means that right now the control panel is to my left. But if I touch the screen with a button, now on the button, um, you need one of three things. You need a, a Bluetooth keyboard, because um, obviously the headset's going to be, you, this is going to be in the headset, so you can't touch the screen. So you need a Bluetooth keyboard connected, or I'd recommend a Bluetooth clicker, um, one of the selfie clickers. Um, one of those which works and also if you've got um, a mobile phone uh, headset with the, the volume control the middle button actually works as well so let's spin around and I'll just center up again so touching the screen so you can see my panel at the bottom um, I can hide the panel and bring it back up again and I've got in this is my cinema I've got two files here so if I click on the first one which is that buck bunny so you can see I've got the whole cinema experience it obviously looks better when you've actually got the headset on um, but obviously I could, there's no way that you can show this, this has to be the only way we can demonstrate it without putting the glasses on. Uh, let's pick another one here, so this is a, a trailer from uh, a 3D animation company in um, Netherlands called Sintel. Okay. Now I can, I can also drop into a different section, so if I click on the 360 video button, Okay, now again, because I, I, I need to recenter, so press the button, and you can see now I've got my videos here. Um, if I click, let's see this one here, this opens up a nice video. This is from a company called Color, and they, they sell the 360 cameras and um, some very impressive uh, footage you can see it can be taken with this. So I'm actually inside the fighter jet, and I can have a look all around so you get the full experience. So this is be the kind of thing where if you'd visited a theme park and you've been on a ride or something like that, this is what you'd be able to see. Uh, okay, so now let's kind of look at the images. So if I click on the image button, jump into there. Now it's again I want to center. Touch the touch your button. I keep saying screen, but touch the button obviously. So you can see there's a default picture that loads up here. Let's go and pick another one. And so now here we've got a nice uh, sea seascape shot. Let we'll hide the panel again. So we can have an uninterrupted view around. Okay, and then up and round. Okay, so now we want to return to the main control panel. So this is where you take your glasses off with the leave VR button. 
press that. Now we're back to the main panel. So hopefully that's given you an explanation um, and uh, you can use it without any problem. Thanks very much.